Yep, that's me. That's me. It's Friday, and the message is, don't quit. So just finished a long day of training, and I've actually moved to tears at the end of it because we did a share at the end of the training on why people wanted to do what we were teaching them to do, which is to build a business for themselves, develop and expand into a property portfolio to give them some choices. And it was beautiful to hear some of the reasons people saying they want to do it for their kids, they want to prove to their families that you know they are better than the family perceive them to be, people pissed off with their job, wanting to sack their boss, people just being stuck in the rat race. Some people have family members that have got illnesses and challenges and financial challenges and any number of things that was just coming up. I just want to check my volume, actually. Um, let me just check that my mic is working. It is. So what's my message? It's simple. Don't bloody quit. You are going to, you know, if you're embarking on writing a book, if you're embarking on creating a new business, uh, learning to become a coach or wanting to become a professional speaker or wanting to just simply go out there and do something for charity or become a better parent or move away from your job or possibly climb the corporate ladder and get to another place where you've got more income, you're more respected, whatever it is, there is going to be shit happen in your life, period. I haven't got any boxes coming up today. I've got no like three steps to this or three tips for this. I just simply want to say, do not quit because there are, the world is full of people who just gave up. That's it. They gave up. They just started something, had an idea, thought it would be great, passionate about it maybe even, and then they just gave up. The people that give up typically do not have a deep-rooted, passionate reason to do what they're doing. They give up because they're put off by somebody else. That's one of the reasons. They give up because it was a little bit harder than they thought it was. They give up because they feel like they're too tired or they haven't got the time to fit it in. They give up because of people are in their ear saying they, they can't do this and they can't do that or somebody said, I told you so. They give up just because that's what people do. Amoebically, they, they revert back to apathy. And it is in, innate in all of us to be able to chill out. It's only a small percentage of people that we recognize in the world who have done amazing things. Actually, they were just amazing at being persistent. They were amazing at not quitting. They're amazing at just keep going. And that's all I want to say. If, if, if nothing else is a message of inspiration, I've been through my life. And when I did my PhD, man, did I feel like quitting at times? Yes. In fact, there was one point in my PhD where due to a set of circumstances, I was attacked in Manchester. In fact, if you can see here, where is it? I can't remember where it is now. But my nose and here, I've got a scar. I was badly beaten up, smashed against the wall, a car, and my face was just exploded up. And man, I came back to university that next week. And I'd been there for a long time. Bearing in mind, I'd done a degree, I'd done a PhD. And people that knew me were just shocked. My face, all my nose had, was busted up here. My face was busted up. And I, all I felt like I was doing was crawling into a hole and just disappearing out of the earth for about the next three or, three or four months. But I had to go back and carry on doing what I was doing. I was on track to finish my PhD off. I even had a very dear friend of mine, Devon, if he's out there and ever watches this, he actually drove up from London to see me. He was so concerned. He was like, right, let's go get these passes and did this to you. But I was in a really dark place because physically I was battered. But I didn't give up. I, I just kept working. People were like, you, you need to have a break. But I just knew if I could work through this, I could freaking work through anything. There were times in my businesses that I built where we had challenges. I had people screw me over. It was just, the back was against the wall. Is it going to work? And we had to break through. We've had deals that have gone really tough and they've not gone the way we wanted to do, property deals. But you know what? Kept persisting. To become a professional speaker, shit, man, that takes a lot of fucking hours. Hours and hours and hours, as Will Smith might say, beating on your craft, beating on your craft. Just think about Outliers, the film, the, the, the book by Malcolm Gladwell. He says, Keep going, get the 10,000 hours in there to move yourself to an elevated place where you are beyond what other people are doing. And I started speaking when I was in my 20s. I remember standing up, sometimes stuttering, people looking at me in a funny way, a bit of rejection, but I just had this passion that I wanted to share a message. If you keep going on whatever you're doing, people can laugh, they can criticize you, but the truth is, if your heart is in the right place and your intentions are pure, the universe is gonna get out of the way. University is going to say, you know what, this guy's fucking serious about what they're doing. 
They're pure, they've got a good intention. Off you go, Baldy. And it's the same for you. And look, some people aren't gonna like your style, some people aren't gonna like the way you do business, some people aren't gonna like your personality, but your job in this world is not to go out there and to try and impress everybody. Your job is not to be liked by everybody in the world. Your job as a human being, this is my personal belief, is to be authentic to yourself, to be real to what you stand for, and to represent that in a way that is, has got integrity. And if people don't like that, that's not your problem, that is their problem. Because rejection and denial and self-worth is one of the biggest areas that people stop doing what they're doing. I had a young man on our course today, and he was doing this just to prove to his family that he was worth it, because his self-worth felt so depleted by the way his family had treated him that he just needed something to prove that. And actually, my personal feeling is he doesn't. He's whole as he is. He's an amazing human being. When you're born and you wake up in the morning every single day, it's a gift that we have. You know, you came to this earth and you had to fight against 100 million, 50 million or whatever it was, sperm, to get your way in there to win. And you came out a champion. Yes, you were the sperm that won. But guess what? You came out onto the earth and now you've got to fight your way through to another level of success. And success is measured in so many different ways. Try not to measure yourself against what other people do and what other people say about what you should be doing. Just be yourself, be authentic, be real, and just don't quit. The only time you give up on something is when it doesn't feel aligned with who you are as a person, or now this is not your path. Otherwise, it's just that extra gram. You know, you see the balance is like this, and this is my last message. The balance is like this, and you're putting grains of sand, grains of sand, grains of sand, grains of sand. You never know which grain of sand is gonna be the one that go and it's gone. So be persistent. In the words of Winston Churchill, never never quit. That's it. That's my Friday message. Have an amazing night and a great weekend.